Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, today our main event is another one of a kind beard product review from the Bearded Shark, which is I don't ever forget that name, silly goose. But today we're going to be doing a review on Sphinx Beard Company, which they're based out of California. They've been reviewed before from other uh, reviewers, but don't get it twisted, homie. It ain't approved unless it's shark approved. Today we're going to talk about three different scents and three different oils. We do have matching balms as well, but I'm not going to go through every single balm. We're just going to grab one. We're going to talk about it, and then, um, yeah, we'll move on from there. The three scents that we're going to be reviewing today for the beard oils are uh, Smolder, Smolder, excuse me, Ancient Kingdom, and then we also have Vanilla Smoke. If you are a person that loves presentation, you're going to love uh, Sphinx Beard Oil. Now you get, this is the oil, so in the box, when you open up the box, which I have the oil in it, like this is the box that you get in it. You know, on the back it tells you where Beard Meets History and it tells you the website. But when you open it, it's like, just like a little casket, man, just for that beard oil. Well, I guess I shouldn't use casket, but it's really, really cool that the presentation or the mountain time and effort that Muhammad and Sphinx took to make sure that you get a great presentation for your beard products. Now on the beard balm, same box, you get the same box, but inside of it, like you have these, and I really love the black. I really love the black um, tins, but you really, let I me mean, look at that. Like, it's just like embedded. I mean, like if you want to use your imaginations, it's like embedded in a bed of roses or whatever, but it's black confetti, obviously. But I think that they really did a great, great job to um, kicking up the notch for presentation. Very good, very great. But I was very, very, very impressed with uh, the presentation of the products. So let's talk about the products itself. So let's talk about the oils. I'm gonna start off with Smolder. Smolder is a combination of oud, coffee, leather, vanilla, and sandalwood. So that's what you get. And then if you guys are wondering what I'm reading, it comes with these really cool tags. So if you forget what you're wearing, um, you have the tag right there. And then on the back of it, it gives you the scent profile. So that's really cool. Inside the bottle, you do not get an eyedropper. You do get a oil restrictor. So you guys know um, what you're getting. And, you know, I don't, let, I don't hate them. I don't love them. I like them just about the same amount as I would if I got um a oil dropper versus a restrictor so it's that's not a big like deal breaker or ooh wah wah ooh la la moment for me it's just cool they got restrictors on them um the scent profile on this is pretty damn crazy the leather really pops up front i don't really get the coffee so this says that there's coffee in here and i do not get the coffee whether it's in hand or in beard i don't get the coffee one bit but you do get the oud vanilla and sandalwood and leather and one of those combinations with the leather, it's giving me like a tad bit of a fruity scent, but I'm not sure what it is, but it smells super, super good. One of the best oud scents out there for sure. Now, when you warm it up, that's where the vanilla, man, that's where the vanilla and leather just takes off from it. The sandalwood, it's kind of like an undertone. The oud, it's not like the cologne scented oud. So it's kind of like the wood scent, just so you know. If you're expecting like a, like the, the cologne scented oud oil, no, it's not. But it's really, really good. Now, the scent profile on this with the scent duration, you know, the scent profile seems like it's loud. And it is. It's not overpowering, like when I mean loud, as in like it's going to just smell up the whole room but this scent profile is slightly strong but it'll last you all day i'd say it lasted about 10 to 12 hours in beard but it wasn't it wasn't hard for it to wash out a beard either so you know if you're worried about it like carrying on to the next day no i think after like the 10th hour it starts to settle down and you don't have a hard time washing out of, washing it out of your beard next we're going to talk about is the vanilla smoke and this vanilla smoke now if you guys noticed, there's two already scents that I have called out that has vanilla in them. Um, Sphinx is a, I guess, a major vanilla fan because when I went to the website, I've seen, you know, extreme vanilla, vanilla this, vanilla that. So he may be a big, huge um, fan of vanilla, which is fine. If you like vanilla, then Sphinx may be your company that there's other scent profiles that you can choose that are vanilla if you like vanilla that much.
The scent profile that you're going to get from Vanilla Smoke is tobacco, vanilla, cacao, and sweet. Now, if you don't know what cacao is, I just learned it myself. Cacao is like an unroasted um, raw cocoa bean. So that's before it becomes roasted and all that good stuff. I really didn't go much in detail. I just Googled it to see what it was. So with the scent profile with this, you know, it's again, these are strong scents. You definitely get that vanilla and there is something sweet in there. And the tobacco, the tobacco, again, the tobacco is like the undertone or in the back and the vanilla is really up front. There's also something a little bit spicy. Like, I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me, but I kind of get like a black pepperish scent out of it, but I don't know. The chocolate, like you do kind of get like a little bit of tad, a bit of a chocolate, but it's not strong and it doesn't smell like, you know, Cocoa Puffs or anything like that. It's just like kind of get that sweetness. But yeah, I kind of get like a black peppery scent out of this. It is a little bit smoky. It is a little bit spicy and it is sweet. So it's like a, you know, a salt and salt, sweet and salty, I guess you can say with this. I almost said Sour Patch Kid, but it's not sour. It's sweet and salty. So that's that's pretty cool. Again, very, very unique scent. Like all these scents that he has, man, I haven't smelt before. So it's really good to come out with um, something that I'm like, oh, this is vanilla smoke, but it's not the same thing as vanilla smoke that I smelt before. Or, you know, so it's really, really cool. Very different, unique scents. Last but not least, last but not least, we're going to talk about Ancient Kingdom. Ancient Kingdom is also another kind of, you guessed it, a vanilla tobacco scent. So it has tobacco, vanilla, cinnamon, and musk in this. And um, this is probably the most subtle out of all three that I have. You definitely get that cinnamon scent, but it's not like... A spicy so strong that it's gonna burn your skin off kind of cinnamon and you, you stop being dramatic people but you do again get that tobacco and vanilla scent out of it but that that kind of that cinnamon just takes off with it out of then the other two they lasted about 10 to 12 hours in beard this one lasted a good six hours in beard again this is the most subtle out of it you get that musk. So this is a very well, well uh, balanced and uh, mixed, I guess you can say, beard oil because you kind of pick up all of them. You get a little bit of musk, a little bit of cinnamon, the tobacco and vanilla and all that good stuff. So out of all, all three, this one is probably the one that I would choose to wear at night if you wanted to wear something from these three at nighttime. So this is the one that I would get, the Ancient Kingdom. It smells really good. Now that's one thing too I can say is that Every one of these scents, um, they smelt very, very good. Like, I enjoyed every single one of the scents. There wasn't one that I'm like, Ugh, I wouldn't wear it. Even the coffee scent, you know, you really don't get much of the coffee. So, um, I'm not a big, huge coffee-scented person because they all just smell like Starbucks to me. This one's like, I think, you know, just the coffee was in there just to make it make that mixture or make that scent profile up it's not meant to be like a coffee scented beard oil so you have three different scents you have three amazing scents well his scent profiles are different and so is his ingredients you have mct oil which is medium chain triglycerides you have organic castor oil you have moringa oil which is also organic marula oil frankincense essential oils organic hemp oil, ginger essential oil, and then coriander essential oil that goes along with it. Um, so pretty good ingredients, man. I can't say that the feeling beard is not good. It's really, really good for the feeling beard. Um, so it's different. It does take from, it did take a little bit for me to get used to it, but once I started wearing it, wearing it, I really enjoyed the feeling beard. It's not greasy and you guys seen put, you guys see me put some drops on my hands and like even right now, like my hands are not greasy. I can still snap my fingers to the step. Sorry, just went down memory lane, but, um, you, it's a really good oil. I really like the feeling beard on that. All right, so let's talk about the Beard Balm. The Beard Balm, again, it comes in these two ounce tins. I really like the black tin right here. You get um, presentation after presentation. So you get the presentation with the oil and the balm. And he's got other stuff on his website too that you can check out like shaving soap and all that. Now I have not touched this Beard Balm. I did use the other ones, but this is one that I wanted to make sure I show you guys what it looks like from the inside. So that's the inside of the beard balm that you get. So it's kind of got got that like little 
petroleum jelly looking, you know, a little bit, maybe a little bit of beeswax in there look, but it's not really yellow and it's not really white. Um, so it's kind of just like its own thing. But the ingredients that you find out here are organic so uh, sunflower oil, olive oil, castor jelly, candelia wax, mango butter, cocoa butter, poppy oil, red raspberry oil, cranberry oil, frankincense essential, ginger essential, you know, coriander essential, all that good stuff that you find in the oils, uh, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, beeswax, shea butter, rice bran oil, vitamin E oil. Now, uh, Muhammad, I'll be honest with you, this would be a really good um, ingredient mix for a balm, I mean, for a butter. You guys know that I am tough on um, beard balms and this is not a beard balm. This is more of, look, you can see it again. This is why you said I, it kind of looks like a jelly for me. This is more of like a, you know, sort of a beard butter. You could kind of use it as a beard butter if you want to. It melts down as a beard butter, but a beard butter, but it has no tack in it. And it, it left my beard. Um, I used it when it was, my beard was short and long and it made it feel a tad bit greasy. And you know, I'm not, I don't like that feeling beard. So if you're looking for like a conditioning balm or like a, a butter that has a little bit of a beeswax in there, you know, you may, you may find this useful for you. Um, you may like this beard balm, but to me, it, it's, it's exactly what I called it, a conditioning beard balm. It's more of like a beard butter um, than a beard balm. So I got absolutely no hold whatsoever out of it. I did get good conditioning like feel out of it, but it also made my beard feel a tad bit greasy as well. So I only used it uh, three times and after that I quit using it. Overall, my experience with Sphinx, amazing, amazing presentation. Again, probably the best presentation that I've come across to date. Um, packaging is absolutely phenomenal. You just get really, really great packaging with this. So he makes you feel important when he sends out your stuff. Oils, very good feeling beard. Um, you know, it's, again, it takes, it took me a little bit for me to get used to the ingredients on there, but after that, it did make my beard feel really nice and soft and that I felt like the skin underneath liked it as well. Um, the beard balm, not my cup of tea. Uh, definitely me personally, I would not purchase the beard balm, but that may be something for you guys. If you like to enjoy that condition and stuff, or if you don't have a, um, really curly coarse beard when it's long then it's, it's good for you. Um, but if you have like curly beard and all that and you expect something to give you hold, it's not going to give you that much hold. Price, you're going to be paying $24.99 for an ounce of beard oil. And then you're going to be paying $18.99 for two ounces of beard balm. Um, yes, it is tad bit a little bit pricey, but also you got to take consideration the presentation. So you're paying for the presentation. Obviously, you can't come out with a presentation that good and expect your beard products to be, um, you know, significantly cheaper. I'm not if you have a collection of beard products, I highly recommend you guys um, getting the Sphinx. You know, it's got to be part of your collection because, again, this is the best presentation I've seen day from day one that I'm doing this. Um, I don't have a discount code for them, but if I do get one, I'll definitely drop it in the link below and I'll edit the video and I'll put on there towards the end what the discount code is. That's all I got from you guys. From, from Georgia to Egypt to California, we came to do this review and we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this helped you out, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you also have tried out um, Sphinx, give me a drop a comment below and tell me what your favorite scents are from him. If you haven't and you do end up getting it after you're watching this video, keep me posted on here or at my IG, Official Bearded Shark, and let me know what you think of the products. But of course, as always, stay bearded. <laughs> Duh.